At Islamic Relief USA, we have a message for you. Thank y'all very much. This food will come in handy. I appreciate this. Thank you. I'm so appreciative, at least for my grandbaby. This has been the most wonderful part of a very bad experience that has warmed my heart. And I'm tremendously grateful. Throughout 2016, you did amazing work, from here at home to remote villages in conflict zones. There's so much need in this world of ours, but together, we reach one person at a time with whatever it is they need the most. Whether it's food or water, healthcare, education, shelter, or help starting a business or building a farm, it all adds up to millions of lives relieved of suffering and so many people with a chance to stand on their own feet again. And that makes this world a better place. Let us take you on a journey to see what you've done this year. The year began with a crisis in Flint, Michigan, where the public water supply had become unsafe. You sent volunteers and staff to deliver clean water door to door. It's a relief to us to be able to have the donations, to have the extra help because, you know, like, we're in a public housing and it's, we're on a fixed income. Our disaster response team stayed busy all year long responding to emergencies across the United States. In the wake of floods, you sent teams to Louisiana and Texas and then Louisiana again. When wildfires spread through California, you sent staff and volunteers to help there too. And then another team to North Carolina in the wake of Hurricane Matthew. Yep, so everything is good. We're going to get through this and this is going to pass and we're going to go on with our lives and working together, hopefully. Let's bring everybody together. But you don't wait for emergencies. Together with our amazing volunteers, we reached out a hand to neighbors in need all year, from Martin Luther King Day in January to a turkey distribution in November. And Day of Dignity events throughout the nation help homeless and low-income neighbors prepare for winter. It's a good thing to reach out and help one another, and that's what it's about to love and helping one another. And I think the world would be a lot better if it was like that. And there was more. Food pantries, zakat distribution, and support for health centers and housing programs. All of that is just some of what you did here at home, but your work spread across the world as well. Terrible crises continued in Syria, Iraq, and Yemen. But your emergency relief did too. In Syria, you have now brought relief to about one million people since the crisis began, from food to shelter to medical supplies. Meanwhile, in Myanmar, you sent relief to people living in neglected camps. You're making sure that the world does not forget. After emergencies, in places where recovery was possible, you spent the year helping communities rebuild and move forward. In Palestine this year, you repaired water systems restoring water to hundreds of families, and you completed repairs on 11 schools. As winter approached, you prepared packages of supplies to help poor families and refugees get through the cold, from Albania to Yemen. And worldwide, you sent food to hungry families during emergencies and during Ramadan, and meat for Eid al-Adha. You care for orphans year-round. In 2016, IRUSA donors sponsored close to 20,000 orphans around the world, a new record. Shimu in Bangladesh lost her father when she was only one year old. A generous sponsor stepped in to help her mother take care of the little girl, and she's embracing life with smiles and laughter. Education is critical for a normal life and a better future, so you're supporting school opportunities in Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Kenya, and South Africa too. Quality health care is also essential for a good life. In Niger, you're restoring sight through cataract surgery. In Somalia, you're equipping two health care centers with specialized care for mothers and children for a safe start in life. And in South Africa, you've completed a brand new cancer center at the Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital. Stability and self-sufficiency are always our ultimate goal, and you gave these invaluable gifts to families around the world. 
in Bangladesh, you support innovative new programs that turn waste into fuel and lifted orphan families out of poverty. In Kenya and Somalia, you're supporting new irrigation systems for farms. While in Pakistan, you're helping communities in Kashmir with better business opportunities and the training they need. This is just a snapshot of what you've done in 2016, but there's so much more. Together, we were able to provide relief and development this year in more than 40 countries around the world. It all comes down to two things, relief and hope. That's what you brought to one person at a time in 2016. And to each one, it made their world a better place. We thank you. Islamic Relief USA, working together for a better world.